is a brand new Australian musical comedy directed by Anthea Williams and written by Shima Konezhevich, Josipa Drezva, my brother and sister, and myself. It also features musical arrangement by Jelko Papic, who is also our uncle. It's set inside the world of a chicken processing factory in the southwestern suburbs of Sydney in the 1970s and it follows the journey of two women, Pavitsa and Mila. It explores their friendship, their place in this factory and it explores their ambition to have a better life for themselves. And it's a rock musical. <laughs> <laughs> the Hen House features an electrifying musical score that's inspired by 1970s Aussie pub rock. The work features a live all-female band. The stories and the text of the lyrics really explores that female experience. When everything is on the line, you do what it takes to hold your I was born in the 70s. My earliest memories were of Australian rock being played in our house on the turntable. So I think it's a, an integral foundation to my whole musical life and to my musical path. Hen House is filled with a lot of different styles from the 70s. So your ballads, your hard rock, but also since the Hen House focuses on migrant women We've also borrowed elements from world music and fused that with Aussie rock. There are feathers in my brain And they're driving me insane Like the screaming in the cage These chains don't hide my rage I play Mila and she hates everyone and everything and everything is just the worst thing in the world. And then Josipa plays Pavitsa. She's a little bit more bumbly. She's a little more optimistic. And, than... and extremely ambitious and aspirational. <laughs> totally. She's always wanted to be the forelady of the mm. factory. The hen house is inspired by our late grandmother, who we call Bubba. And she worked at Ingham's factory for nearly 35 years. When our grandmother passed away a few years ago, we were going through her things. We were kind of wrapping up her house and we discovered all of these, I guess we can call them artifacts. We found her uniforms, mm. we found her galoshes, her hairnets. Yeah. And then we started to talk about hearing all the stories about Bubba growing up and how much she loved her job and all of that. Mm. And uh, I said to you, wow, well, this is a show, there's a story in this. The script actually started speaking to me in musical terms straight away. Ideas were coming into my head. I thought it was quite a hilarious script. And from that point, I thought, I definitely want to be part of this show. We had this wealth of anecdote material that we had been told growing up, you know, from her and from our family. But there was this whole bit of social history that was untapped and I think it's actually a bit of a forgotten part of history and that was around migrant women who came to Australia and worked in factories. They were the real muscles of manufacturing in Australia. And you wouldn't believe it but in our research we stumbled across actual footage of our Bubba working at Ingham's chicken factory in the late 70s. Here she is working on the production line. Her story is interesting because it's a challenge of making a life for oneself in addition to the responsibilities that we have mm -hmm. to our families and to our own health. And I think these questions sort of endure beyond, let's say, the 1970s. I think there's something quite universal in that as well. I'm recording this to remind us of the time that we finished Act One! It's a really unique experience working with your family. <laughs> you get to be completely honest with each other, but it's so good for the process. This is actually the very first time that the three of us have ever worked with each other, and we're all practitioners in our own right, and it's been awesome. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> our ability to communicate musical ideas and also the ability to tell each other off nicely when things aren't working. It is an easy process and it's a lot of fun. 
First up, the cages. This one is like getting ready to go to the wall. Step one, wrap your hands with the cloth. The Hen House features some seriously rollicking storytelling and the music is sensitive, it's raucous, mm. it's reflective. It's like a rock and roll type of experience but with a lot of heart and a lot of pathos. Yeah, and, and, and chickens. And so many chickens. So many oh, yeah, chickens. The chickens. Chickens, yeah. <laughs> chickens, yeah. There are a lot of chickens There's in chickens, this show. And there, are, and there are songs. Working at the Hen House. Chickens to the left, chickens to the right. Working at the